Hey, my name's Jillian. We're back at it again with the fourth story in Five Minute Snuggle Stories. Today we'll be reading Scamp the Hero, Lady and the Tramp. Let's see if we can find this. Okay, Scamp the Hero is adapted by Annie Auerbach from the book Our Hero Scamp, originally published by Egmont. Uh, Okay, it doesn't tell us who drew it, so we're just going to assume it's probably the Disney uh, storybook. Artist. Yeah, there we go. Okay, on to our story. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I feel like Lady should have like a southern accent, so we're going to debutante it up. Alright. So, Lady and the Tramp. Be careful, Scamp! <laughs> Lady called as she watched her son dash across the yard. Don't bounce the ball too hard. Lady, Tramp, and their four puppies were playing together outside their home. Scamp, the only boy, was just like his father, always looking for an adventure. After they finished playing ball, Scamp was asked to visit the park. He asked to visit the park by himself. All right, Tramp told his son, but be careful. I will promise Scamp. Look at them go. Bunch of little ladies. Must be. Okay. Scamp bounded out past the fence and onto the sidewalk. There was so much to see beyond his yard. He stopped to watch cars that were honking and beeping at one another. He thought about chasing them, but he remembered his promise to his father. Scamp was determined to not get into any trouble. It's some old-timey cars. But it wasn't long before trouble found him. Scamp passed an alley where a pack of big dogs were snarling at a little white poodle. The frightened puppy was backed up against the fence. She couldn't escape. Stay away from me, the little po poodle barked. Scamp knew he had to help. He certainly couldn't fight the other dogs, but how else was he to scare them away? The mean old puppies cornering them. It's not very nice. Then Scamp had an idea. He carefully crept behind the trash can and pushed it over. Clang, clunk, crash. The noise frightened the big dogs away. His trick had worked. Unfortunately, he also made a big mess. Garbage was everywhere, but Scamp was more worried about the fluffy white poodle. Don't be frightened, he told her. I'm friendly. There's all them big bullies running away. And Scamp the poodle. My name is Princess, the poodle said, and you're my hero. Scamp liked being someone's hero. Why were those dogs bothering you, asked Scamp. Because they wanted this, said Princess. She pulled something out from behind a box. Wow, exclaimed Scamp. It was the biggest bone he'd ever seen. What is my head doing? <laughs> Look at that. All right. Princess offered to share the bone with Scamp, but before they could start chewing on it, two police officers walked down the alley. Scamp and Princess quickly hid. Scamp noticed the officers pointing to the garbage can he had tipped over. Uh-oh, he thought. Scamp was worried he would be taken to the pound if they caught him. Then his parents would never let him go out on his own again. Let's get out of here, Scamp whispered to Princess. The two puppies bolted away as the policeman examined the messy hall alleyway. There's the police. There's a big old bone. Scamp and Princess raced down, down a hill and into the park, but all that running had made the puppies very thirsty. Scamp hid the bone beneath a few leaves. Let's get a drink of water before we have this, he suggested. It'll be safe here. But when they got back, Scamp saw that a gardener had raked the bone into a big pile of leaves. Oh no. Scamp sprang into action. He dove straight into the leaves to get the bone back. Hey, stop that, yelled the gardener. 
Before the gardener could catch him, Scamp grabbed the ball and he and Princess ran away once again, scattering leaves everywhere. Scamp sure was getting into a lot of trouble. Oh, dang, he made a big old mess. Just then, Princess spotted a stern-looking police dog. He seemed to be looking for something. Maybe he's looking for us for all of the trouble I caused, Scamp worried. He thought about running away again, but Scamp remembered his promise to his parents. He knew what he had to do. Scamp bravely stepped forward toward the police dog, carrying the giant bone. What's going on here? The police dog barked. I made the mess in the alley, and I scattered the gardener's pile of leaves, Scamp said. But the police dog wasn't listening to Scamp. He was inspecting every inch of Princess's bone. Yes, I think this is it, he announced. What? Scamp asked. He's a big un. There he is inspecting the bone. Wonder what the bone is. Hope it's a dinosaur. Let me explain, said the police dog. Last night, there was a robbery at the museum. What did the thief take, Scamp asked. A giant bone from our dinosaur collection. How dare they, answered the police dog. He looked seriously at Scamp and Princess. That bone was exactly like this one. Where did you get it? I didn't steal it, Princess exclaimed. I found it in an alley. Maybe the real thief hid the bone there, suggested Scamp. The police dog thought Scamp might be right. Come with me, he said. And there they are. Let me get up here. Meanwhile, Lady and Tramp were out looking for Scamp. He had been gone for a long time, and they couldn't find him anywhere. They searched the park, but Scamp wasn't there. Then they went to the pond where Scamp loved to chase ducks, but Scamp wasn't there. They even went to Tony's restaurant, but Scamp wasn't there either. Lady and Tramp were starting to get very worried. Oh, look at Lady, she's so sad. Finally, as they were walking along Main Street, they heard someone shout, Scamp, look over here. Tramp froze in his tracks. He saw a crowd of excited people at the museum down the street. The pair ran inside, hoping to find their son. Lady and Tramp saw Scamp right away. Photographers were taking pictures of him and a white puppy. What's going on here? Tramp asked Lady. I don't know, Lady replied, but I'm just happy that Scamp is all right. When Scamp noticed his parents, he and Princess ran over to them. I'm sorry I didn't come home straight away, Scamp told him, but we had to help the police solve a robbery. Your son's a hero, said Princess. Tramp grinned. That's my boy. Princess was the one who found the stolen bone, Scamp said. He wasn't used to so much attention. Look how precious. The director of the museum cleared his throat to make an announcement. To thank our little heroes, we've prepared a feast. He pointed to a long table covered in treats for the puppies. Scamp lipped his lips. He's never seen so much delicious food all at once. And there were stacks of bones for him and Princess to enjoy, even if they weren't from a dinosaur. And that's the end of our story. The end. Another one down. Bye.